MIT researchers have created the Mini Cheetah, a smaller 20-pound version of the Cheetah 3. The four-legged Mini Cheetah can do, among other things, a backflip. While it tops out at five and a half miles per hour, the team recently put the robot through the paces on campus. The time of the year seems particularly fitting as it performed many of the same agility drills that athletes are going through at the NFL Combine. There's the shuttle run, the sprint, and three cone drills. I mean, just, well, just there wasn't any cones. And of course, they kick it. Stop kicking the robots, one day they're gonna be pissed. They kick it, sweep the leg, and then, after about 15 seconds of abuse and foreshadowing the fall of man, they finally kick it over so you can watch it reset, roll, and stand up. I mean, really, it's incredibly impressive. Next, the researchers threw the cheetah to test its ability to land, and then it performed a few backflips for the crowd. I mean, the one woman, she was particularly happy with it. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. According to the researchers, each leg is powered by three motors, which provide a large range of motion, and the high torque, low inertia design allows the robot to execute fast, dynamic maneuvers and make high force impacts with the ground without breaking gearboxes or limbs. Next, the team will work on a more agile and even more cat-like robot. Essentially, they want the robot to land on its feet no matter how hard or far you throw that thing. I'm also impressed that the team showed off some of the project's many failures. Yeah. 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 Oh. Wow. Man, I can watch those all day. Researchers from the Charité University of Medicine in Berlin are studying the brains of bungee jumpers to improve human-machine interfaces. According to the researchers, bungee jumpers experience a measurable increase in brain activity about one second before he or she decides to jump. The moment is called Bereitschaft's potential, or readiness potential. This experiment was the first time the data was successfully captured outside of a lab and in extreme conditions. The readiness potential is an electric voltage shift in the brain. It indicates that a voluntary act is imminent, and it occurs before the person is even aware of their conscious decision to execute the movement. The researchers strapped electrode caps to the bungee jumpers to take readings before they plunged about 630 feet. It was a big ask as the two participants made 30 jumps from the Europa Bridge in Austria. I mean, perhaps they were also measuring the human breaking point under extreme duress. What is interesting is that the brain activity recorded during the bungee jumps was actually the same as data recorded from jumps of a height of just one meter. That's right, they had both test subjects also jump 30 times from a height of one meter. I mean, that's when you blow out a knee. So even though you're afraid moments before a potentially life-threatening action, the fear actually doesn't change the readiness potential. Next, the data is gonna be used to develop devices that could give paraplegics and stroke survivors a little more freedom by translating brain activity into control commands for robots or other high-tech devices. Finally, today, in New Ways to Die, I bring you the Speeder, the new flying motorcycle from Los Angeles-based Jetpack Aviation. Powered by four turbojet engines, the Speeder is capable of speeds eclipsing 150 miles per hour and a max altitude of 15,000 feet. And while it can be powered by diesel or kerosene fuel, it still can only fly for 22 minutes. At most, the low end is actually 10 minutes. So, you know, get where you're going. The max pilot weight is 240 pounds and will certainly impact flight times. The speeder also has a fly-by-wire control system that self-stabilizes, you know, so you don't like roll and fall out of the sky. Now, you need to put your deposit down quickly on these things because the company only plans to make 20 recreational versions of the speeder before dedicating production to the military. The exclusivity comes with a steep price point. The pre-order is only gonna cost you a refundable $10,000, which isn't bad but the final version is going to cost you at least 380 grand. But hey, it comes with a free hat and a keychain, so why not? According to the company's military site, they are currently test flying a third scale speeder prototype. Jetpack Aviation has actually been in the micro personal vertical takeoff and landing or VTOL aircraft business for 10 years. You might actually remember their early work, the jetpack that their CEO flew around the Statue of Liberty. 
You know the best part is that you might not even need a pilot's license to fly this thing. And if you're going 150 miles per hour, there's a good chance you won't feel anything anyways. I'm David Manti. This is Engineering by Design.